Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Dory from Stampin' Always with Dory. Here to reveal the mystery card. The design, the fold. And of course, I'm using my favorite sweet, sweet of the week, S-U-I-T-E, not S-W-E-E-T. Um, but it is sweet as a peach. And have you guys seen that one? If you haven't, I've been featuring it all week, so you'll have to check back and see some of the other projects that I've made with it. Oh, I got a thumbs up. Let me know if you're there. Give me a like or a love. Hopefully no, no angry faces. I just got started, so. Um, yes, Sweet as a Peach. It's on page 60 and 61 of the new idea book and catalog. It is perfect for summer. It's perfect for any time of the year. You can eat peaches any time of the year, but it's perfect for this time of the year. And this is such a quick and easy card that I think you guys are going to hopefully love it, but you're going to want to use this design with several of your other designer series papers and, um, you know, and things like that. So, again, if you're on, oh gosh, Siri, seriously, Siri, she's listening in on my conversations here. All right, so, here we go. You're a peach, sweet as a peach. So, we have the fabulous one shop number. Hi, April, happy Friday, thanks for joining me. Um, I love the one shop number because it includes all the items that are listed below. So it's the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies. It is the Your Peach 12 by 12 designer series paper and the mini jam jars. Have you guys seen the jam jars? They're super cute. Um, I have one right here and they are perfect for my favorite, which would be chocolate with maybe a little bit of caramel. But if you wanted to go with the peach theme, you could do like peach jelly beans. You could do um, like the peach rings, the jelly, like the jelly sugared peach rings. Um, so the possibilities are endless here. So um, yeah, so those are the little jars and they're actually not so little. So you could put a lot of great things inside of them and you can gift those as well. So, all right guys, if you're just joining me, um, I put up a post earlier this morning that gave the measurements for the card stack that you would need today. So you are welcome to stamp along with me or you can just kind of hang out and watch and then go back and make this later yourself. Hi Deb, happy Friday. So we're gonna start out with our card base and um, I have a different color, I have the um, Oh goodness, the blue, <laughs> balmy blue. Let me make sure I just did that right. I just had a, a little uh, little brain fart there. It's not soft sky. Let me make sure. Need to purchase the jars. Yeah, they're super. Yeah, balmy blue, I was right. I just, I don't know why I'm second guessing myself, but anyway, so this is your five and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock and you're going to need a scoring tool. Um, this is our stamping cutter. The great thing about it is there is a cutting blade and there is a scoring blade. Hi Pat, happy Friday. The only thing is make sure you're using your scoring blade if you want to score because it is very disheartening when you um, cut your cardstock <laughs> and you meant to score it. Okay, so you're gonna go over here to the four and a quarter, or if you're on your score tool, you can you know do the same thing. Um, hey Lisa, and you're just gonna score at four and a quarter. That's all you're gonna do on this piece of cardstock. And then we're gonna fold this in I'm using my finger bone folder today. Okay, and so that is what you need right there. So then a recipe calls for a piece of designer series paper and it's a strip that is one by five and a quarter. So a lot of times we have a lot of designer series paper left over from when we make projects. So this is the perfect card to make because it just uses a little one inch by five and a quarter inch strip of designer series paper. Okay, it gives that little, little pop 
pop of paper there on the side over on the left, okay? And um, let me see, I'm gonna use Tombow today. He's hanging out over here. And let me make sure, I'm gonna do a little off screen check. You know, like they do a mic check. I'm gonna do a Tombow check because sometimes he decides that he does not care to um, participate. Let's see if I can get him to work. He, yeah. Oh, he is working. Okay. So we are going to take and put a little Tombow. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. Along the back. There we go. All right. And so that is just going to simply attach right to our little flap here. Okay. And what's great about Tombow is you can finagle. Word of the day is finagle. So you can move it around and um, you know, if it's not quite straight, you can kind of pull it over. Um, sometimes with the Stampin' Seal Plus, another amazing product, but it doesn't allow for error. So I know I'm human and I make mistakes. So sometimes Tombow is the best one for me, okay? So, all right, so next we are going to come in with our coordinating card stack which is the four and a quarter by three and a quarter, okay? Then we're gonna have two pieces of our basic white. One is four by three. This is gonna be for the front, and this is actually gonna go on top of your coordinating cardstock. And then you have your four and a quarter by three and a half. And this is the piece that's gonna go on the inside, okay? But before we put this piece on the inside, we're gonna put some peaches on it, right? So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have, made creations with this stamp set all week long and I haven't used a single peach, the peach stamp. I mean the poor, poor peaches, right? So we're gonna use the peaches today so they don't feel left out. So I have my um, Calypso Coral and my Pear Pizzazz ink pads and those are my inks of choice today. So I'm gonna start out with my pear possess. If you guys aren't familiar with our ink pads, there are three little dots here on the bottom. They're like a compact makeup compact. You push it and whoops, and you lock it, lock it and put it in your pocket. No, just kidding. Okay, so there is our, this is gonna go, hey Renee, this is gonna be the piece for the inside. So I'm gonna stamp my little um, step, my stems, stems and leaves there. Okay, then this is gonna be the piece for the outside. And I found it so much easier if you stamp the leaves first and then fill in with your peaches, okay? Totally personal preference, but just saying. A friend told me, okay? So I'm gonna put those two little um, leaves and stems of my peach tree right there on the front, okay? And let me show you the stamp set that we're, oh, sorry. Goodness, it sounds like I'm doing construction, but I'm really not. This is the Sweet as a Peach. So it has your full-size peach, full-size stem. Then it has the smaller ones, but then it also has the little flowers. And the flowers actually, of course, coordinate with our designer series paper. So let me show you a little strip here. Um, there's the flowers, okay, peach blossoms maybe. Um, so there are the little ones there. And then they actually, look, they have, that looks like a germ, but it's actually the inside for the flower. <laughs> so if you wanted to make a card for someone that is sick, you could use the germ, um, or you could, um, you know, accent the flowers with it too. So, you know, I love things that have dual uses. So germ or inside a flower. So there we go. All right. So I'm gonna come back and I am going to use my peach, my smaller peach stamp, okay? And I have a little piece germ, I know. <laughs> it, that's what it reminds me of. Not that I've ever seen a germ, but you know, that's what they look like when I type it into my iPhone. When you say germ, that's what comes up. A little guy that looks like that. So I have my little piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to stamp off, okay? And this peach is gonna be the one that goes in the top, okay? And you can see where they're supposed to go because there are little stems there, okay? So there's the first set of peaches. 
Oh, and we're not gonna have green peaches because they would not be ripe and no one would wanna eat them. And then we're gonna come back again and we're gonna place these right here. I don't know why I have to stamp quietly, but okay. And you'll notice this is supposed to happen. So this is actually part of the stamp and it gives you that little um, bit of, of shading there, okay? So those are your peaches. If you would like, you can also put a sentiment on the front while we're stamping. And I am going to use Old Olive. You could also, if you wanted to add, um, you know, like a die to the front, you could do that as well. I'll show you that in a second. But if you wanna keep it simple and do some um, mass production, we can do that. And we're just gonna do sweet as a peach, okay? And again, I stamped that in my old olive. Old olive, pear pizzazz, mossy meadow, they're all great colors, shades of green. Okay, so this is just a scrap paper. Nothing is um, being created with that, at least at this moment. All right, so I'm gonna come back to my card here. And so this piece is going to go on the front, okay? But I'm gonna show you what I did first. I actually put my inside in first. Oh, heavens, I forgot my peaches. We are not done. The orchard is naked on the inside of the card, so hold on. Hold on, ladies. <laughs> We're gonna stamp one more set of peaches, okay? Like I said, I used Calypso Coral and I stamped off, but um, you could use the um, our new our new in color. Does anyone know what that's called? Can you tell me the new in color that has like the um, kind of the peachy hue to it? I know you guys know this. So there are the peaches for the inside. Okay, so back to what I was saying earlier. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to adhere this to the inside. So I'm gonna use my Tombow, just go around the outside and then do some swirls on the inside. Yeah. Oof. He's a little, he's a little congested today. <laughs> Tom is congested. I think that's enough though. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to the inside. And you can, um, and I'll show you the reason why I'm doing that. I'm just gonna go around to make sure if I pressed it down. And so this is the piece that is going to go like so. So the reason I put my piece on the inside is so I could see where to put my cardstock on the front. And um, that way it gives you that nice little one eighth inch layer around the outside. So it adds that other, um, level to your papaya, pale papaya. April got it, good job. All right, so seriously, Tom. Tom and I are gonna have to have a serious chat because he is not performing well. I'm gonna do this off screen so you guys don't have to watch me like wring his neck. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have enough for the side and just, you're just gonna put your adhesive on this little piece here, right? Because if we put it all over the, the front, then our card will not open and we will not see the beautiful peaches on the inside, okay? So we have this piece here, all right? And then you're gonna take your sweet as a peach and you're gonna put that right on the front. Isn't this such a fun design? And you could make, you know, several of these. And you can make more than one with a piece of cardstock, which is what I love when you can get several. Okay, so you have sweet as a peach right on the front. Okay, and there's so many different designer series papers that you could use over here. Um, there's a fun striped one too, the blue. Um, there's this one here with the stripes. There is, let me see, there's polka dots. Renee, my polka dot girl, right? Um, there's polka dots and even comes with something stuck to it. You can see I've kind of cut some things out of it, but you have the little polka dots you could put here on the side. Um, the possibilities are endless. Here's my 
the stripes that I was talking about. That one would be super cute too. Um, okay, so, but we're not done yet, right? No way. All right, so we're gonna come back first with my friend Stella. And um, I am just gonna go over top of the peaches and make them sparkle a little bit because you know what? Some days we all could use a little extra sparkle and today is that day for me, okay? So there we go. So we have the sweet as a peach. Then if you would like, you can keep going. Um, I'm gonna add some twine. So I have some white Baker's twine that I am going to use, okay? And whenever I use twine, does anybody know my rule, my rule of twine? It's like my rule of thumb, but my rule of twine, I always double it, okay? Twine is very thin and I want my friends to be able to see it. So I always double it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it here. And I'm going to tie a bow. I'm going to attempt to tie a bow. Okay, here we go. And so I am going, whoops, well, Stella, I know Stella really um, adds a lot to a lot of different things, but especially the peaches, right? All right, so there is my twine on the side and we are going to trim that twine possibly um, in a minute. I buried my scissors somewhere. I know you guys are like, Dory, what the heck? But anyway, um, so you can stop there, but no, I don't wanna do that either. So I have some embellishments. You guys know I am the embellishment queen. I love to add little gems and jewels and whatever I can find. Um, and this one I think is perfect. And we're gonna add them in sets of three. Everybody knows the rule, right? It's like, what is it? The leaves of three, let it be, but this is actually embellishments in sets of three. And they have to be kind of askew. They can't be like right along the same line. That drives me nuts. That's just me though, okay? So, so there's our little card. Super quick and cute, right? Here's the other one, sweet as a peach, okay? Um, you could also, if you wanted to, let me show you something else. So this is actually one of the new sets that is in the catalog and it is called Color and Contour. Um, I will be using it on Wednesday for Cards and Coffee and it has these, let me show you, these fun dies that go along with it. So the, you have the outside one that has the little, um, I don't know, scallops, but then you also, let me show you these, they're stitched, but then they have the rectangles on the outside too, okay? And then you also have this fun little um, corner, corner pocket there too, all right? So if you wanted to, you could actually add something like that to the front of your card as well. If you wanted extra layers, um, you could use your dies and, um, you know, you could, could go with that. All right. So that's just another option. And let me, um, let me trim this because it's driving me nuts. And then I'll show you the final, final, final look here. All right. Whew, so much better. So which one is your favorite? Um, this is actually Calypso Coral. That's one of my favorite, Pat. Thanks for asking. It is Calypso Coral, um, but it it's a super quick and cute design. So I would love to see what you guys make with it. And um, you could even, you know, put a mat of designer series paper here. You could make a smaller piece of the basic white just so you had a little bit more of the designer series paper showing. So that's totally up to you. But like I said, just another quick and cute design. This is Pear Pizzazz and this one's Balmy Blue. And then your um, base, your, sorry, your layer is the Calypso Coral. So um, yeah, but you can see you can use different designer series papers. And like I said, 
They are a quick and easy card. It's a great way to get rid of some of your designer series paper. So we're all about using the designer series paper, right? We're not hoarding, we're using. So um, yeah, and I did a cute little box on Wednesday. So if you missed the, the peach box on Wednesday, you can go back and check that out. You can also hop over to my YouTube channel, which is Stampin' Always with Dory. I would love for you to subscribe. And um, every time I post a video, then you would um, be alerted and you can check those, out, check those out as well. One other reminder is tonight is the last Friday of the month and we all know that that is Card Buffet. So join us tonight at 7 p.m. We will have six fabulous cards for you to choose from and we will demo each card. So um, we would love for you to stop by and stamp with us again tonight at 7 p.m. It's supposed to be really bad weather, cold and rainy. So what better thing to do than stop in and check out the um, ideas that Barb and I have to share this evening. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you need anything, you can stop by doryschneider.stampinup.net. And um, there are actually, there's a sale going on right now. And so check it out if there's anything you need they are um what will be um leaving the um what we call the jj catalog the january through june catalog so um yeah check it out and you can um or if i can help you with your shopping let me know i'm always happy to help in any way so you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i hope to stamp with you soon oh jerry pickle you're the georgia peach and it's 89 there it's supposed to be like 55 here and like torrential rain starting in like an hour. So I hope you're having a great time in Georgia and enjoy that sun. Take care guys. Bye.